emotional intelligence, what the heck is this? What does this mean? Emotional intelligence is simply our ability to recognize and understand emotions in ourselves and in other people. And we use this awareness to manage our behavior and our output so that we can have positive relationships. Sometimes I'm asked, how does EQ relate to IQ and some of these other pieces of this puzzle? And I think this is a great picture to share that. Emotional, I'm sorry, uh, IQ, EQ, and personality are pretty distinct qualities, and together they determine how we think, how we act, and how we may behave. People may be intelligent cognitively or academically, but may not be emotionally intelligent. People of all types of personalities may also be high in emotional intelligence or the IQ. However, of all three of these pieces to the puzzle, IQ, EQ, and personality, EQ is the one that's dynamic, that's able to be changed, able to be changed. So how does emotional intelligence tie to the LGBTQ world during Pride Month? Did a lot of research on this. In general, people and higher levels of organization typically have a more evolved or a higher level of emotional intelligence simply because you have to have emotional intelligence in order to be successful. And people are often promoted when they're seen as successful. So in general, the higher you are in an organization, the more years of service or experience you've had, it's likely that you've taken the time to refine and develop your EQ. When I looked at the research on how this plays in with the LGBTQ plus world, I came across research that said this matches for LGBTQ folks as well. So LGBTQ folks who are higher in the organization tend to have a bit higher level of emotional intelligence than LGBTQ folks that are at maybe introductory or mid levels of the organization. This does not mean that people at less high levels lack emotional intelligence. It just simply means that research shows people at higher levels, whether they're LGBTQ or not, tend to have a more developed level of emotional intelligence. People with a high level of EQ also have better defined sexual identity. So I thought that was pretty interesting findings. And also LGBTQ folks who are open to others regarding their orientation, their persona tends to match who they are at work in public to who they are at home. There's much less hiding or um, being in the closet in general. And again, as I'm covering some of this information, please ask any questions that you'd like in the chat box and please write the word question in caps. And then Brian and Kati will be sure to give me your questions towards the end. So what are some of these LGBTQ plus challenges that are going on today in the workplace? McKinsey did a great study, actually last June, I think it's just a year old this month. And they identified the four biggest challenges our LGBTQ folks at work are coming out because we have to come out repeatedly again and again and again and again. Discrimination, microaggressions, as well as isolation. So those are what they've defined as the biggest challenges. And Leo is going to throw a link in the chat box. Just this weekend, I came across an article in Huffington Post that shared 14 microaggressions that LGBTQ folks deal with all the time. And I just thought, wow, this is a good sample list of what people are going through in terms of microaggression. And again, in addition to isolation, those were the four biggest challenges. 